In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create a starting chain stitch, a starting foundation chain is actually what it's called. Um, and as you guessed, it creates this nice row of stitches that looks like a chain. So to start you off, the first step is to create a slip knot. So with the tail end of the yarn on the left and the working end of the yarn on the right, now the working yarn is the part that's attached to the yarn ball, you're going to create the number four by putting the yarn tail on top of the working yarn and creating this horizontal line of the four with the tail end of the yarn and the vertical bar of the four with the working yarn. And now you're going to put your thumb and your second finger from the bottom up of the hole on the four, and then just flip your hand over to pick up the vertical stem of the four and pull that yarn through. And then tighten the knot that you just made by pulling on the tail end of the yarn. And now you have a huge loop. Don't worry, all you have to do is pull on the working yarn to make this loop smaller. So now, assume the position. Stick your hook through this loop. Tighten the loop. You want the slip knot you just made to the right of the hook, and you want the tail end of the yarn and the working yarn to be on the right side as well. So to maintain control, you want to always hold your piece as close to the hook as possible. So to make a chain stitch, you're going to yarn over and just pull it through this loop. And that is one chain stitch. So I'm gonna do a few more, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over and pull it through. Notice how my hand, my right hand is constantly moving. I don't leave it down here and try to do the chain stitch because it gets considerably harder to control the yarn. And also you run the risk of the yarn twisting around I constantly am moving my right hand so that I'm holding onto the piece as close to the hook as I can without interrupting the actual crocheting. 